here's a thought. So September, you know that as the ninth month, right? That's what we're told. October, that's the, um, was it? It's the 10th month. See, my brain, it's not, it's not even making any sense. Uh, November, that's known as the ninth month. Uh, am I, am I even saying this right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, let me backtrack. Let's try that again. First of all, shout out to my daughter who animated that. Much appreciated. Today is the beginning of a new year. Now, some of you might be thinking, really? Because I thought that was three months ago. Yes, that's when we were told the new year begins. But if you observe with your own eyes, you'll see that the new year does not start in the middle of winter, but at the beginning of spring. The spring equinox marks the start of a new year. March is the first month of the year, featuring Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. July in Latin is quintilis, which means fifth or five. March, April, May, June, July. September is the seventh month, or at least it's supposed to be, because septem is Latin for seven. October is the eighth month, octo, ocho. November, novum in Latin, meaning nine. And the decem in December is Latin for 10. January is the 11th. February is the last month of the year. And March, the beginning of spring, is the first month of the year, which is why some people have been wishing people a happy new year. Here's a cool quote from WTFFunFact.com. Those in power, whether it was political or religious power or both, used calendars to try to make the world operate according to their whim. And while you can't change the pace of the seasons or the lunar cycles just by sticking it on a random month, you can change things like the time when taxes are due, which can really mess things up for the people around you. Politicians would even try to lose or gain a month to shorten someone's tenure and power. Now think about what's going on with daylight savings time. We just moved our clock ahead. Nobody wants this. You think about how much power individuals have to mess with people in this way. I understand the origins of daylight savings time, but it's no longer applicable. People voted to no longer do this, and yet we're still doing this. It's a power play. If you can convince people that a new year begins in the dead of winter and they just accept it, nobody asks, hey, why are we doing this? What else can you convince them to do or to think or to ignore? There's even a theory floating around that we may not even be in the year 2023, that it might actually still be the Middle Ages. That's another video.